Well, there's a new craze sweeping Perth schools. It has health groups up in arms. They're called shisha pens. They're similar to electronic cigarettes. Users basically inhale flavoured water vapour. With primary school students smoking the novelty pens, there are concerns it could lead to kids taking up the real thing. Once you start getting kids hooked on the particular behaviour of having something in their mouth that they're inhaling, uh, that's setting them up for failure. Available online, it's illegal to sell the pens in WA, but not to have them. One school that was quick to ban the fad was St Stephen's in Duncraig, and the school's principal, Tony George, joins us this morning. Tony, appreciate your time this morning. Good morning, Tim. Tony, you acted pretty quickly in uh, trying to clamp down on these pens at your school. Why was that? Uh, well, there's uh, fads coming up all the time, whether, whether it be uh, things such as uh, synthetic cannabis or what, what seems to be uh, harmless pens. Uh, but as we uh, look into these things and find as to where they've come from and what they might do, we need to act pretty quickly. So the main thing of doing that is to uh, advise parents, get parents on board so that they, they can actually understand and, and do things from home and will do things from school. Tony, when did you first notice the craze and did it come about pretty quickly and then spread like wildfire through the school? No, not at all. It was only uh, about a month ago, four weeks ago. We only had a single in incident of it uh, and then stopped it in its tracks. You must hate the internet at times, Tony. Uh, you can clamp down on uh, outlets <laughs> trying to sell them here, but of course uh, kids are pretty savvy on the web these days. They can jump online and order just about anything. Yeah, that's true, and we also understand that they're able to get them from uh, local markets, such as canning markets, uh, selling down there for $4 a pen. Uh, there's certainly many ways in which kids can get access to things that they want to try out. It's really for, for parents and school communities to be quite vigilant and active and uh, being aware of what's there and, and having a good relationship with your kids uh, so you can actually ask your kids what's going on and what's, uh, you know, what are they interested in. And I imagine that relationship also extends beyond the, the school gates and includes the home envir environment as well. Uh, has it been a bit of an effort to draw parents into the conversation as well? Oh, not really. Uh, certainly at uh, St Stephen's we enjoy a, a great relationship with our parents. Uh, but across the country there's certainly a renewed interest in engaging parents in school communities. And I think uh, governments and departments and schools are to be applauded for uh, enriching that kind of relationship because it's very disappointing when businesses that we would hope would be contributing positively to our society and to our communities, uh, instead we still have some businesses out there that just simply want to exploit our society and particularly exploit our kids. All right, Tony, well, good luck uh, getting on top of the next craze that comes along. I don't envy you sometimes. It must be a tough job being a primary school principal. Oh, thanks, Tim, <laughs> but it's a great job. It gets me excited jumping out of bed every day. Have a good morning. Good on you, Tony. Thank you.